Where's wifey? Where's wifey? There's wifey. There's wifey. Okay. All right, everybody. Um, I'm Chris. I'm Jen. And welcome to day two of our road trip, and we are finally approaching our destination. And uh, unfortunately, due to the western wildfires, it is a bit... Uh, it, it's still cool to look at, but it's still kind of a, a little bit disappointing because of the smoke and the haze. But this trip, we are visiting... Ta-da! Devil's Tower, if you can see it. If you can see it. We are visiting Devil's Tower, which is kind of in the... That would be the northeast corner of Wyoming. So here's a kind of a view. We're still a few miles away. There we go. Made popular by the uh, movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And also something pretty cool right now, and we'll probably do this next year, but as you can see, uh, there are some motorcycles behind us, I think. I hope you can see it. Sturgis is actually happening, I think, next weekend. So, Ginny and I have been to Sturgis once. We're not Sturgis people. We don't own a motorcycle. Still kind of a cool thing, so I think we'll do that next year. But uh, we're going to jump back in the car here in just a second. And before we do, one last view of Devil's Tower. If you can even see it, it's very smoky. All right, so we're gonna get closer and we're gonna hopefully do some hiking and stuff around it. But hopefully as we get closer, the videos will get uh, better. And here's tell. some motorcycles coming down the road. Look at this. I can't tell if I'm taking a picture of it. I can't see anything. That was an iconic American video. Okay, hold on. Okay. Get it through the window. A little bit. Oh, there's trees. There's trees. Okay. There's Wait. Trees. Through the trees. Through the trees? Wait. Ooh, pretty through the trees. Uh, mountain. There oh, there it is. Yay. Okay. Is your window down? <laughs> no, it is not. Let's, let's try window. Window down. There we go. see we just uh, entered the National Monument and we're going to head to the Visitor Center parking lot. It did say it's full so I don't know how much recording we'll be able to do while we're in the park but um, you know we're going to try and come back in the morning so hopefully at some point either today or tomorrow we will get some good footage of Devil's Tower. Way to go, Jenny, and uh, <laughs> hopefully we'll see you in a minute, but no promises. We may have to come back in the morning uh, on our way out. I forgot to ask what time the gates open. Duh. Okay. We'll Thank you very much. Yeah, That's we'll what figure it Google out. Google is our friend. That Google is our friend. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you in a, hopefully see you in a minute. If not, see you tomorrow. Bye. A couple different trails, but we just cut up. Okay, everybody, good news. We were able to actually very easily find a parking spot, so we don't can we don't expect, or we didn't expect to be able to do that, according to the signage at the entry station, but we were able to. So we are going to take a quick walk around what is called, was it Tower Loop Trail or Tower something Trail like or yeah, something around. Trail. <laughs> so we're gonna take a hike. It's about 1.3 miles, that's about, two kilometers for you folks that uh, don't believe in the mileage system. I wish I was, <laughs> wish I didn't because it'd be much easier to figure out stuff. But here we are at the base of Devil's Tower.
Now, unfortunately, I didn't bring my backup battery, and I'm not going back to the car for it, so I'm going to... How much battery have left? Something like 50%, see? Okay. So, I'm going to stop recording for now, and we get on the trail. We will start recording again. Obviously, I'm not going to record the whole thing, but if we see any cool stuff, I will record. Okay, be back in a minute. Okay, we were walking up the tower trail, which yeah, is like over there. And uh, so there's this little trail offshoot that goes right up basically to the base at the scree field at the base of the, the tower. So we're gonna go over and take a quick look and get the selfie for our um, YouTube thumbnail. So hopefully it'll guide people to this. So getting close, getting close, getting close. Can't record too much, no extra battery. There's wifey. This thing is very cool. So, here we go. All right, so here we go on the tower trail. I want to point something out that there are, if you can see over there, there are, I'm not sure what these are called. I, right. Um, in Tibet, they would be called prayer flags, I think. Uh, people who are climbers put them up there. And the Sherpas do as well to bring good luck. But I think those are Native American symbols. Because if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure I'm right that uh, this uh, Devil's Tower is actually considered a sacred site to them and they actually ask people not to climb it for that but people still do so here we go we'll be back in a minute so we're on the trail and uh maybe some useful information this is the tower trail and as you can see it is very well maintained it's actually paved and there's the tower through the trees right there a lot of families. Hey, you got a GoPro? Camera. Yes, I do. <laughs> a lot of families, a lot of strollers. And again, this is not a difficult hike. So uh, even if you have almost no fitness level, <laughs> even the little even know this little GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what a GoPro. That was actually kind of funny. That was hilarious. But as you can see, this is oh, a very short, just simple walk in the woods. So let's keep going. Trees here. Looks like I'm not sure if this is an offshoot or the main trail, but we're gonna go over here because it kind of pops out of the woods. Bring extra batteries. Rule number one. What's rule number one? Bring extra batteries. There you go. <laughs> I thought rule number one was bring water. Oh, well, I got water and sunscreen. Rule number two, then. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's probably. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I want to know if you can get it at just the right angle to make it look like I got double power in my hand. What do you think, Puggy Bear? And again, my favorite photographer, flying the <laughs> tree. See you in a minute. All right, so we're back. A couple more minutes down the path. And again, it's just very nice. It's paved the whole way. And this is just turning out to be a very nice walk in the woods. Uh, there's a lot of trees. And off to the side. Through the trees, you can see the tower. So we're going to keep walking. And I'll show some stuff from time to time. Because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Two-way traffic, so we've got to kind of move over, and I'm kind of running Ginny off the trail here. So from time to time, yeah, I'll... Thanks. Sorry, what am I supposed to do about it? There's a big rock. 
All right. Oh, there, my watch detected a workout. Oh, your watch finally detected a workout? <laughs> yeah, we've so, only been doing this for about 15 it? minutes. Hear that? That's weird. It's like somebody turned on the volume. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> That's weird. And there's the tower. And there's Jen. All right, we are back just to kind of give you a little bit of a trail update here and check out the view of the tower, which hasn't changed. Again, it's through the trees, but still, nonetheless, it's really cool. Got the sun behind it now, or above it. So, kind of peeking through there. Uh-oh, Jenny's up to her old tricks again. My world, my, my favorite photographer in the world, my wife, Jennifer. And she's been complaining a little bit because this is a little steep. I'm not saying it's terrible, but it is a little steep. Yeah. Hurry, Pudge, hurry. way too big to do it the way we did it on the little freighters. But... And just another observation. There were a ton of people down in the parking lot. And this trail is only a little over a mile long. And again, we're seeing people, but we're not seeing a ton of people. So again, sometimes it pays just to walk a little ways out of the way. And sometimes you can lose the people. In fact, I don't see anybody right now. Oh, we're at the halfway point. We're at the halfway point? Look, it's official. Where? Oh yeah, there we go. Halfway, halfway point. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, that's cool. Coming out of the trees like that. <laughs> oh yeah. Having fun, Pudgy? Yeah, you're dating us though. You're dating us? <laughs> what do you mean, dating us? We've been dating for 20 something years. Like 32 and a half. Really? That's how long we've been <laughs> together. <laughs> By the way, it's worth a mention. Uh, Next week, today is Saturday. The Next 31st. Saturday is our 28th wedding anniversary. So kind of a, a little bit of an anniversary trip, even though it's only literally a day <laughs> and a half. So happy anniversary to us. Happy anniversary. August 7th. What year are we get married? August 7th, 1993. And it is now, it's going to be August 7th, 2021. So that's a long ass time. Well, at least for me, because I generally screw things up way before then, so all credit. You got old. Yeah, I got old, <laughs> but all credit to the blonde. So here we go. Ooh, look at this. Jenny, we're going downhill. Yay. Oh, no, then back up. <laughs> just to go back uphill. See the on the top of the hill. All right, we're about to pop out of the trees. I jump over your shoulder. Well, I'm not actually that much taller than you. It's not like I'm 6'5 and you're 5'3. I'm like 5'8 and you're 5'3. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> All right, so we just popped out of the trees and we're right basically at the base. So I'm hoping for a pretty cool view here. So, well, here we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ooh, straight up. No, thank you. No, thank you? Oh, Jenny would not be a, a rock climber. I can't even climb this. You can't even climb this little hill? It's not even that big. It's hot. Okay, you're gonna see how smoky it is. It is smoky. It is a little warm. This trail can be a little steep, but look at this thing. All right. So my battery is now showing very low. So I'm gonna hold off on recording anymore for a minute until we probably get back off of the trail. And again, extra batteries. All right, see you in a minute. Apparently we have a hair malfunction. Yes, we do, we have a hair malfunction. Okay, that's bad. There's the entrance down there. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. 
Jenny is keep tracking of her time. 6,000 steps. 6,000 steps. And she is constantly complaining about this hike being too steep. <laughs> Don't hear children complaining. Don't hear adults complaining. Hear my wife Hi. complaining. I'm 47 years old. How old are you? 47. That's right. <laughs> doesn't look 47 to me. I don't know about you, but I don't think she does. So here we go. Continuing on. You have older bones. And muscles. And aches. Older bones. I don't... This way or this way, I think. Let's go, Let's go this way. Like right. Because this looks like it goes around the tower. That looks like it goes and looks over the valley. So we are soldiering on with an almost dead battery. So Jenny just admitted she likes the hike because it's pretty. It is so pretty. It's it is pretty. Hot and hilly, but it's pretty. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> Doing it though, I can do this. What is it with people who go to the mountains and complain about the mountains being steep and high and you can't breathe and blah 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 when it's just pretty? It's like, come on guys, deal with it. <laughs> I'm just ash. kinds of family like toddlers down here what's going on and my wife is got toddlers are running up the trail my wife complaining the whole time more energy so here is a very nice almost unencumbered view and there are actually a couple of climbers up there I don't know if I'm able to point them out to you but they're gonna be on uh, I guess that would let's see it's the right hand side let me see if I can point them out because there are there's the they're kind of off to the side. They're not on the main tower. They're off on the side. So see if you can see them. They're uh, right in there somewhere. They kind right of disappeared there. though because they're down. No, you can see them right there. Yeah. Right there. He's, you see, he's moving. He's coming down. He's right above these oh, trees. I see it? Yeah. Legs. There you go. He blends that. He blends into the rock. Well, he's also a long way up there, so. He's wearing pants. I see him. Now. Yep, okay. All right, let's keep walking before you. So I'm down to 30% battery. So got to hold on for a little while longer. All right, I think we're getting close to the trailhead because tra foot traffic's being a little bit heavier. But we actually got a good view of three climbers. Let's see if you can find them. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to be hard to There's see. There's one from the video. right here. One and on there's one on ledge. this, there's a ledge right here and one in the crack right there. So I'm going to record that for a second. Just kind of hold it. So you coming guys, down or are they going up? No idea. It's probably a little late. No, he's kind of, eh, I don't know. It seems a little be a little late in the day to go up, but maybe they're camping on top. So, all right. Let's keep hiking. Yeah. Do they have to climb all of the Yes, they don't have an elevator to go through the boulders, well, so know. yes, they've got to go through the scree field. Well, hun, <laughs> rock climbers are, I'm guessing, in pretty yeah. good condition, probably pretty muscular. I don't think I need to get through the boulders. No, I know you wouldn't get through the boulders. <laughs> I might get over one. You might get over one? You want me video? <laughs> well, there's all kinds of them. Okay. Look at these things. Would you like to scramble over one so you can prove how in shape you are? Hmm? No? Okay. Okay. All right, Jenny has climbed a boulder <laughs> at the base I did it. of Devil's Tower. Woo. Okay. <laughs> That's the extent of Jenny's climbing uh, experience. <laughs> or, um, I, I don't know. I scaled the boulder. You scaled. Well, it wasn't even. Oh, that, was, that was tough. Let's just let's just let her have this victory. Let's just <laughs> let her have this victory. Okay. All we, right. We, we did like a, we're doing a 1.3 mile loop. Yes, 1.3 miles. That's <laughs> that's a lot. Whew. All right. So. Hey, that was it's uphill both ways. It is both. Okay. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I was correct. <laughs> yeah. So here's some more prayer flags. And masks. Yeah, and man masks. And if I'm not mistaken, oh, of course I can find a tree. This is actually where we started the trail. So we have officially done the 1.3 mile or two kilometer um, tower trail. So now 
there's a couple of things we have to do. The number th one thing we have to do is what? Feed the punch. That's right. Jennifer is <laughs> hungry. So it well, is time to feed it's Jen. It's 3 o'clock. It's 3 o'clock and she, she had breakfast but no lunch. So I'm really surprised she made it this far. We had candy bars before. We had candy bars before we came up here. So <laughs> uh, always pack a snack, I guess you could say. And then we have to do another very important thing, which is go buy a magnet. Because something funny, uh, Ginny and I were just at Dinosaur National Monument. I'm not sure if I'm going to post that video. Uh, trip didn't end up as I had wanted to, but uh, you know, I'm always complaining that she's buying too much stuff and bringing it home. And then her logic was, what was your logic? It's small, so it fits. <laughs> what she said exactly. And what I was did hoping I say? I can't you, remember. You said, there's always room for a magnet. For a magnet. Yes, so, okay, I do remember all right, that. So, there is always room for a magnet. Lunch. They can Magnet. even fit in your little pocket. Go back to the room, get checked in, and try to find somewhere for dinner. So for now, I'm Chris. Jen. And we are, <laughs> we just finished walking around Woo. that. We did it. And again, highly recommended for anybody's fitness level, except for hers. <laughs> hers. I did there. it. She I did, did it, it but she complained the whole time. I so. did not complain the whole time. I yes. said it was pretty. It was pretty, but you also said it was steep and hard. Toddlers did it, strollers did it, everybody did it, but Jenny complained. So I survived, and we didn't even go through the whole bottle of water. Wow, that's that's an amazing feat. And I didn't run out of battery. So okay, again, I'm Chris. <laughs> I'm Jen. We're going places, and for now, we're gonna go eat. Yay! <laughs> All right, good morning everybody. I'm Chris. And I'm Jen. And what are we doing right now? Going home. We're going home. So Is it what we're driving we're right now? We're driving right, yes, right we're now. Going home. Now, I do want to apologize if our heads are cut off or anything. I couldn't get the GoPro to kind of um uh, sync up with my phone so I kind of couldn't do a preview so if our heads are missing or you're seeing too much of our lower bodies and you know maybe only our mouths I do apologize <laughs> but uh, just wanted to give you a, a quick um, uh, just basically a, you know a update. quick update yes thank you Jenny update letting you know what we're doing so let's start first with what is next what is our next adventure going to be Vegas with Vegas. my parents now you're probably yes and that's the thing you're probably thinking and someday when we get some followers and people start to watch these videos you're gonna you're probably gonna say why are you keep going back to Vegas but this Vegas trip is unique because we are going with her parents who are going to be celebrating their 50th anniversary during COVID so we're doing it this year but they are Vegas newbies and so we get the honor and the privilege of spending their 50th wedding anniversary, well, 51st wedding anniversary with them to show them one of our places, favorite places, Las Vegas. So that's going to be fun. Then after that, we have a vacation trip to Virginia to go see Navy Kid. Yes. Right? Yes. And then the next thing that's 100% planned is um, we are also going back to Vegas for Christmas. Now again, why are we going back to Vegas? Again, very specifically, what are we going to go do in Vegas at Christmas time? Go to the Bronco game. We're going to the Bronco game. We, from time to time, like to go see Jenny's favorite football team, the Denver Broncos, play in a, a different city. We've seen them play in um, San Diego. We even actually went to a, um, a, a football game. We actually went to see um, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. But it was not a Bronco game. It was not, it was... but we watched the Saints play. I wanted to watch Drew Brees play before he retired. This was a couple of years ago. So we do from time to time actually go watch NFL games when we can find cheap tickets. These were not cheap tickets, but we wanted to go see the new Raiders stadium. We wanted to go see the Broncos play, and it was in Vegas, so bonus. And um, that's that's kind of the point of that trip might do a little video around, inside the stadium if they'll let the GoPro in but other than that might not do a whole lot of recording that's just going to be a year-end fun trip for us we'll see what happens so um, next thing we told you the car stories how we ended up with two cars in our garage and we are currently driving my new car which is a 2021 Nissan Altima and what do you think the grade is for this car for traveling 
I'd say like A minus. A minus, you know? okay. I mean, it's it's good. It's really good. I think, like I mentioned to you before, it's smoother. It's smoother. Um, you know, and it's like it. It still has the room that we need. Yes. You know, yes. so it's you know it's four door versus right. you know the coupe that you used to have. Right, and we wouldn't probably pack five people into here. It'd probably be a little bit uncomfortable for five adults, but it would still be doable. But for our trips, this worked out just fine. And um, one of the reasons we did change out is because of gas costs right now. Um, I'm just kind of estimating here. I have no real numbers to give you, but um, I kind of guessed that we saved about, we probably used less gas by you know 30 or 40 percent oh, less 41.9 oh look i'm at a 41.9 yay miles per gallon <laughs> miles per gallon that would have been unheard of in the titan so i guess i, I mess i'm kind of guessing that we used about 30 percent maybe 40 percent less gas and being i'm putting regular unleaded instead of premium unleaded in this car we're probably saving between 40 and 50 percent on our gas costs if you factor in less gas and lower grade that's not as expensive so driving this car on our trips is going to be more economical leaving more room for more trips i hope my only problem with this car is it's not a truck and i cannot just drive it off into the ditch i saw a situation earlier that i really wanted to photograph and there was really not a good place to pull off and i'm not just going to pull this off into the ditch the titan i could have done that easily any little dirt road or anything like that this causes a little pause but that is my only problem with this car so other than that um, i think this was a good trip this was a good um, way to kind of feel out this car it's got a big trunk got a big back seat so we have all of our stuff in here and every, i'm comfortable yeah. you're comfortable so it did its job uh let's see anything else we need to cover oh I was just kind of thinking about this this morning, but I just want to tell everybody why we do these trips. And it would be very easy to get on YouTube and wonder what it was like to go to Devil's Tower and just look at this video and go, oh, hey, we watched this video on Devil's Tower. That is not the point of going places with K&J. The point is, is to actually encourage people and inspire people to go out and do things. Jenny and I are really big on marriage the health of marriage and even when your kids at home and especially after your kids are gone to continue to invest in your marriage do what you like to do for Jenny and I it is traveling we like to get out we like to see the country and this is just gonna go grow more and more as the years go on even if we our YouTube channel doesn't go anywhere we're still gonna travel and we're still gonna make videos no matter what so Please don't just watch this video and go, wow, that looks really cool. Please watch these videos and go, wow, that looks really cool. We're going there. I mean, that that's really what it's about for me. And I've said this before, and I'm going to continue to say it. I just know way too many people who, after the kids are out of the house, their basically relationships dissolve because they were so involved in raising their families, they did not cultivate the relationship. They're, they did not cultivate their marriage. And after the kids leave the house, their marriage dissolves or they continue to stay married but it's a miserable existence and they might as well just be roommates because they're not married you know they don't do anything that married couples do but so I just wanted to really emphasize please get out invest in your marriage invest in your spouse it's going to do dividends for yourself your children and someday your grandchildren 44.6 44.6 yay <laughs> So, um, oh, we just went down. Uh, 43.8, but anyway, so uh, <laughs> any any other things I'm forgetting, Jenny? No, nope, I think that you pretty much covered it. I think so. Okay, so sorry I do most of the talking. I, you know, I usually interject, but yeah. you know, you were on a roll, so <laughs> so anyway, um, for now, uh, do me a favor before I go. What do we got to do? We got to like, like you, subscribe, and hit the notification bells bell down here somewhere. I don't know where it is, but hit it down there and uh, so you can get uh, our, not our videos when they come up. So for now, I'm Chris. And I'm Chad. And we are driving home in our 2021 Altima after visiting um, Devil's, Tower. Devil's Tower. And we'll see you in just over a month when we go to Las Vegas with a couple of newbies, her parents. Bye. Bye.